What's mentoring? Well, mentoring at Westpac, let me talk a bit about that. So the definition on the internet is, mentoring is a relationship that gives people the opportunity to share their professional and personal knowledge, skills, and experience, and to, to grow and develop in the process. Typically, it's a one-on-one -on -one relationship between a more experienced and less experienced employee. Another definition of mentoring is the act of helping someone to understand more fully the environment they find themselves in to assist and support them in advancing their career and life in general and learn from everyday experiences. Does anybody know where the word comes from? No? Any guesses? Any Greeks in the room? No? Okay, it comes from Greek mythology, meaning wise guy. The Macquarie Concise Dictionary definition is a wise and trusted guy. A mentor may sometimes act as a coach, a counsellor, and a consultant. And there may be overlap between those roles, depending on what the mentoring relationship, what point the mentoring relationship is in. So I want to tell you a bit more about my experience of being mentored. It's kind of a bit of a weird one, because I hadn't had a mentor until about two years ago. And I met this person in the coffee shop in the lobby of Westpac Place, and I really did not want to meet this person. No way. A colleague of mine had said, please, 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 this guy has been harassing me, wants to talk about leadership development. I haven't got the time, it's more your bag, will you, will you, will you, will you, please meet him. I'm like, I don't want to meet another provider, I haven't got the time, I'm too busy, I'm really stressed, oh god, because, as you might guess, I'm a Yorkshire girl, so I'm going, all right then, I'll look after you, I'll do it for you. So, I went downstairs, got the miserable face on, met this little short brown guy. Within 10 minutes of meeting this man, I had told him my life story. I had told him that my seven year relationship had just broken up, that I was miserable, that I was depressed, that I was stressed, that I wanted to change jobs. I was like, whoa, what just happened? That was two and a half years ago. And that provider turned out to be my mentor, Kamal Sarma. So what do I get from this relationship? Actually, what I get is personal growth. I've grown both spiritually, I've grown professionally, just from having that ability to talk to someone who listens to me, both as a coach, a counsellor, um, and a consultant. He's actually an ex venture capitalist, so he's got quite good business, and a McKinsey's person, so he's got a good business head on. At the moment, I mentioned that I'm a mentor and a mentoring. I actually became a mentor recently. Um, I, got, I mentioned to a colleague that um, I wanted to do some work in the non-for-profit sector, because I'd just been to a fundraising event and it really put to my heart strings and I thought, what can I do to give back to the community? Kind of unbeknownst to me, this person I was talking to was setting up the organisational mentoring programme within Westpac. I was like, oh, ching. So I said to her, what can I do? You know, what can I do and what is organisational mentoring? So basically what it does is it provides a structured approach to skilled volunteering. This is right out of the brochure, you can tell, that allows mentors to coach community partners on a regular basis as part of their jobs, as well as creating an opportunity for learning through the application of skills and experience in a different context. It means that I can give back to the community as a mentor. It means that my experience in sales, sales management, sales development, HR, restructures, we won't go there, I can go and assist and support um, a community. And what do they get from me? Well, they get all my experience. And I get a personal kick out of it. So that's kind of some of the benefits to me. Benefits to other mentors is it helps them demonstrate and share their knowledge. It can learn new perspectives. You know, you deal with a non-for-profit, it's completely different to working in a financial services organization. It extends your professional network. And that's what I think for you guys is really important. It allows you to meet other people from different businesses and different industries to be able to share your knowledge. And plus, 
it helps me with my coaching and counseling and listening skills. So, what benefits could you get from having a mentor? Anybody give me an idea of what benefits they get from having a mentor? Somebody is being mentored at the moment? Increased knowledge. Yeah, great. Anything else? Better perspective. Being stretched. Oh, great. Good one. Anything else? Correct. If your mentor comes from a different part of the business or a different organization, it opens up your networks. They encourage you to be stretched, to achieve your goals. They challenge you. When you think you can't do it, they go, you can. They support you and in all many different ways. They allow you to focus on your plans and your career goals. So what do you look for in a mentor? Well, this is only in my opinion. You need to find someone who you can create that bond of friendship with, that you've got total trust and respect with. That if you don't get that trust and respect, you're wasting your time. You've got to look for somebody with attributes that you think are inspirational. Have they got leadership skills? What are their interpersonal skills like? Do you think they're a role model? Can they provide you with the constructive feedback you need? Are they interested in their personal growth? Are they a good teacher? And can you get that mutual respect from them? When I started to talk, I asked how many people in the room had mentors, and a number of you put your hands up. Could I ask you to raise your hands now and keep them up? Those people who put their hands up at the beginning, who had a mentor, please put your hand up now and keep it raised. Okay, so for those people who are interested in learning how to begin the mentoring journey, look around the room now, see who's got their hand up, and when we're having the drinks afterwards, go and talk to them and find out how they found their mentor. Thank you very much.